okay but you don't have to do that like sometime if i am at work if i'm working in a restaurant i wouldn't do that so we don't really so you know do all those step but as a haitian you know <laughs> so we're gonna clean our meat a little bit okay with some lime and white vinegar and some salt it's gonna look so yummy and pretty good okay so this is my chicken legs so we're just trying to clean it take some veins out i usually do that traditionally haitian cook chicken legs like that they always cut that little thing right here we don't eat that and then w once you do that you give the chicken like a little space for the seasoning the spice to get inside of it okay look at that and um i have some pot with water that i do have on the stove right now with some salt and wine vinegar so you know some um some green onions in it too and what we're gonna do we're just gonna um give the chicken like a quick rinse and after that we're gonna pour the boil water on top of it um but be careful with the whole chicken because you don't need it to sit under hot water for too long because you don't want to mess it up uh, because you don't want to break it all right because we need it so we're gonna rub it with some butter we're gonna put some rosemary some thyme parsley some garlic and we're gonna put the carrots inside as well the celery all those stuff you're gonna see just be patient and um, make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done that yet okay it's definitely me and the kitchen as you can see it on your screen and the same thing for youtube and um the same thing for facebook it will be the same stephanie menadi kitchen okay so we just finished with the quick rinse now we're gonna put the hot water like i told you okay and um after that we're just gonna remove it quickly and we're gonna use a paper towel to just dry it a little bit before we start put the spice but for the chicken legs i'm gonna put my haitian spice some oil parsley and thyme and everything and i'm just gonna let it boil because i need it to be fried so right now i am prepping the stuff to put inside the chicken the whole chicken actually the one that i'm gonna be roasted on the oven so i just cut some um celery and then now i have some green onions i just clean everything just give it a quick rinse and then peel it and cut it all right so now we have the onions it's like a, a mirapra if you were in culinary art or working at the restaurant you know mirapra always carrots celery onions all the stuff there's trinity there's um mirapra so that's the name once you do um onions um carrots celery all those things you waste it your chicken with as the meal up well. all right once your boss said make make you like a make him like a meal up well, that's what's up that's just carrots and onions and celery so i have my parsley i am chopping my um, parsley finely and i'm gonna add it to my butter as you can see and then i have some thyme i do have some rosemary so I'm gonna add it later, don't worry. And I add some minced garlic. Ooh, I love it. I love the taste. So when you're gonna do your roasted chicken, if you have a migraine butter, so make sure you leave it like on room temperature, cause you, you don't want it, you don't want it to be too too um, frozen to work with. Okay. So as you can see, I just put some garlic, some minced garlic, some um sharp parsley and thyme you can put some rosemary as well if you do have rosemary and i have some red potatoes 
that I'm gonna give it like a quick rinse and I'm gonna cut them just to um, put on my chicken as well all right so for these potatoes you don't have to peel it all right so you don't have to peel it you can just rinse it and then cut it just like that it's not necessary for you to peel it we we usually make mashed potato with it without with the peel so we eat it with sour cream when when you um bake it like roasted so you don't have to peel it all right and if you don't have red potatoes you can use also you know um the other potato the white one so it's up to you it's optional all right so i just finished cutting my potatoes all right now we're gonna start with our chicken all right so this is my rainbow kale they are so beautiful guys and right now i'm putting some onions already and some celery okay and I'm gonna pull my rainbow carrots. They are rainbow because they are multicolor. Like you can see purple, white, yellow, all those jars. So they are so beautiful. Okay. And as well, this is my chicken. I'm using the paper towel. So I can dry it up like a little bit. All right. I'm adding my Haitian spice. You don't have to if you don't have Asian spice, you don't have to. You can just use your powder, spice, you know, some garlic powder, onions powder, um, all bay seasoning, all those stuff you can use if you want, salt and pepper, some rosemary. You don't have to, but if you want to know how to, to make the Haitian spice, you can check on my channel. I do have a video about the Haitian spice. So as you can see, I i put inside the chicken a couple of celery and carrots and onions so right now i'm putting all my spice oh be careful when you do that because you don't want to break your chicken like i told you earlier be careful so yeah we're gonna pull it beautiful beautiful because you want it to to have a nice shape right now i'm putting the butter the butter gonna um make it look so crispy and like a golden brown color and um you don't want your chicken to be dry like from time to uh, from time to time the same um chicken stock that i'm gonna pull you can always take a little bit from time to time to Put like on top of your chicken because you don't want it to be dry all right so i'm gonna tie it you know it's gonna look so nice so be careful when you do that all right i don't take too much i just take enough just to tie the legs all right so you wanna just give it the shape and you cross it and you turn you turn and you make a knock yes 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 make it tight very tight mm -hmm. and you can cross it again and make sure that you give it like a nice shape already all right it's not that difficult it's super easy and you can find this at Publix or Walmart to give it like a nice nap. All right, look at that. Beautiful. And you, guys, and you can put this right here. Nice shape. Awesome. That is awesome. All right, now we are ready to pull some chicken stock. Okay, because you want it to be steamed. You want every... Um, bit of vegetable to cook well through oh look at the butter and the pus oh i'm telling you mm -mm. and i'm gonna be adding some salt and pepper too so that's my chicken stock okay if you don't have chicken stock you can just put some water okay 
Oh, I'm adding some oil on top of the chicken. All right, and I have some thyme. Now I'm putting some salt and pepper. All right, and I'm adding some more seasoning like onions powder. All right, some garlic powder all the stuff because you want your vegetable to really tasty as well and the top of the chicken too really tasty okay and we're gonna use like a foil paper and then now i'm adding some some acid and stuff Ooh, mm -mm. nice nice that is so awesome okay we put some lemon we can put lime or you can put lemon it's up to you and then you want to cover it with the foil paper and make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you cover it the reason why that you cover it if you cover it just like i just uh, just like i'm doing right now you're gonna have a good result the reason why that you cover it because you want it to steam like for a couple of minutes because you want the inside chicken to cook really well if you just put it on the oven like that this is what's gonna happen the top gonna look so nice and brown and, and crispy but when you cut it you you will see blood it's not gonna cook well too so what i do i'll usually cover it and then let it in the oven for like 40 minutes then after 40 minutes i uncover it okay i take the the the, the foil paper off and then from time to time i just take the same chicken um um stock and put it like on top of the chicken all the stuff if you have some more butter you can put some more butter on top of it and after that we're gonna wait it to plate up so 40 minutes cover it and on and after you take the cover put it back on the oven for 40 more minutes to have the color nice golden brown color all right so all my potatoes is cooked everything is cooked well too so i'm gonna give you like a, a nice split up <laughs> that's just my style you don't have to do that it's just me that just cost my mind i had some um curly kale so i'm gonna use some curly kale and so you know put some tomatoes just make it more colorful and more presentable so easy okay and this is my chicken all right, and then remember to take this out. Just cut it. If you have a scissor or a knife, just cut it. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then, yes, you, you can take the same carrots and potato to garnish it. Just put it like a round... Or if you don't want to you can put food some people put some so you know um apples peach all those stuff or you can just put the same vegetables that you had with the chicken and put some more fresh tomatoes and more peppers like sweet peppers so you know make it beautiful i'm just gonna go like that just garnish it a little bit and you know awesome and then we almost done and then i do have my rosemary now i can put some rosemary all over it to make it more beautiful you can do it just the way you want but you don't have to follow this one <laughs> it's just me okay oh my goodness i cannot wait to eat i can't i can't wait all right oh look at that and i'm gonna show you i'm gonna cut it to 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 show you how it cook well too that my chicken is not bloody i'm telling you usually you're supposed to cook your chicken at least 165 at least it's supposed to be one 665 when you use it to my look at that i was just gonna cut it 
and then the fact that the chicken cook well too who damage just come so easily so easily beautiful as you can see there's no blood nothing and um you can just put some more tomatoes on your plate take some potatoes and then if you have some salad or some black rice like Haitian rice you can eat it with anything you want or some coleslaw anything anyway thank you for watching it was a pleasure to be with you guys don't forget to share the video don't forget to like don't forget to leave me a comment don't forget to subscribe look at that no blood i'm telling you mm -mm. bye see you next time for another video